always fighting. Even if it was my brothers fighting on the road, we was always there for each other. And that's how it's always been. I was getting in trouble. I wasn't thinking about the future. I was just thinking about that moment at like the present. I just wanted that different life. Like, I just wanted that different life. I've always had more to me than that street life. It was monotonous before. It was like crime, prison, work. Crime, prison, work. I wanted to break the cycle. I got kicked out of school in the end of year nine for fighting. I got arrested and I was on bail for a while, then I got sent to prison at the age of 15. But whilst I was in prison, my mum passed away, so I came out to nothing, that's what I felt. I wouldn't call it a downhill spiral because I was already going downhill anyway. I fell back into crime again. I got caught for one of them in 2009, was on bail for almost two years. It was a robbery. Got sentenced to a five-year prison sentence. I got 11 years in prison for possession of a firearm. And I realised that the world of gangs and being on the street is so small, they think seeing someone with a knife every day is normal. They think seeing people get shot is normal. And that is not normal, it's abnormal. Constantly getting in trouble, hanging around with the wrong people, just mixing with the wrong crowds, really. It was a mess, a life of someone I should never really go through. Seeing things that I wish I never see. I needed to change. It was me that done my prison sentence. No one done my prison sentence with me. I had a lot of people that I used to hang around with, but not all were doing the right thing. There's a point in life when there's time to come out of it and when I had my first child, that was the wake-up call to say, you know what, let me switch up my ways. Just wanted to turn my life around and start going down the right path, instead of constantly mixing with the wrong people. Just give something else a go. When they're at that point where they've said to us, do you know what, maybe this life isn't the best life for me. I could do better things with my life. That's when we'll step it up. We'll try and offer the same support as a second family. There was a place that I knew that I would not get into trouble. I knew one of the founders, George Turner. He was out there, he knew everyone, he knew what was going on. He was in touch with the youth. I knew what he was doing, I knew some of the people that he was working with, so I knew that there was room for change regardless of what you've done in the past and got involved with George and Carney's community. Started coming down to do some boxing training and haven't looked back since. In a way, I got disciplined because I was a bit all over the place and hyped up. I calmed me a lot down. I got into the boxing and never looked back. Didn't have time to be out with the wrong people. Everything turned around for me and then I started to take it seriously. I started training every Friday for a couple of weeks. And then one of the Carnage community members told me to join Fitzroy Lodge. It's like just one big family. No one's got problems with each other. We all get on and that's how boxing should be. Two minutes before the training, I don't want to do it. My journey to the clubs is like, oh, I don't want to be here. But after I come out, you can either leave with a bloody lip, black eye, headache, swollen jaw, bruises, cuts and you feel good. Everyone knows how to fight, but most people don't know how to box. Boxing teaches you to have aggression, but to control that aggression, rather than letting the aggression control you. It's not just about going and swinging a left or swinging a right or getting hit over the nose. There's like an art to it. It enables you to get in with a masculine side that's able to control yourself. I don't fight on road no more. I don't fight outside of the ring. You leave the fighting for in the gym. Someone might be there annoying you, but you just gotta be the bigger man and walk away. 
the winner of the London Junior ABA Class B champion at 52 kilos in 2014 is Miles. I think boxing for any walk of life is good because it gives you the discipline. As a boxer, you have to go to training. When you get to training, you have to be on time. When you're on time to training, you have to train hard. Just like you have to come to work every day. And I think that a lot of children that are out, they need discipline. They wake up and have no structure. Confidence is one of the main things you need to be a boxer. And that's one of the main things you need in life. If you can do boxing, you can do anything. BBC London, 94.9, five and a half minutes away from nine o'clock. And by youth worker George Turner and ex-boxer Mark Wygate. Carney's community in Battersea provides four boxing sessions a week for former young offenders and gang members. 14, 15 years ago, I was working with some young offenders in Lambeth. I found out about Fitzroy Lodge, turned up, met Mick Carney. Before we knew it, we were going down there pretty much every Friday evening. He saw the benefit of what was happening with the community and it was the kind of person who wanted to support that. Mick knew his boys, he knew what I was getting up to. Working, I wasn't really worried about working, all I was worried about doing was ducking and diving. It wasn't until later on that um, Mick decided to strike me out and get me a job. He took me from one environment to another. He was a father figure. He was like a dad to me, he was like a dad to all the other fellas down there. He taught us what was right and what was wrong. A lot of what we do with the charity is based on what Mick was doing with the boxers. Society doesn't know how much of an impact some of these boxing clubs and coaches have on the local community. I mean, I know at Fitzroy Lodge there's hundreds of young people that could quite have easily gone down the wrong path and because of Mick, they didn't. They stuck on the right track. If it wasn't for Mick, I'd probably be ducking and diving, probably be banged up. If I hadn't done stuff with kindness community, there was always a possibility to fall back into what I didn't need to fall back into. Mostly everyone in the state is all locked up, so I think I would have bonded with them and ended up in prison. I wouldn't even like to think most people in prison or something stupid. Most people would have lost a little family. Because, for example, I know my mum couldn't keep up with it no more. It's like a family to me, which is a case of if a kid came up to me and if there's any way I can help them, then I'd, I'd come down and help them out. Society looks at the negatives of people and they don't really look at the positives and that's what we're trying to do. We try and find out what the positives are in that young person, highlight those positives to them so that they can then start to recognise it and then they're the people that put the work in to make that change. Everyone out there can change, everybody. You can start going down the right path. You've just got to dedicate yourself to it and make sure you do the right thing. A lot of them, they have the answer of, but you did it, so where do you go from there? What I do say to them is, look, if you go that way, you will end like this. If you come this way, the opportunities are endless. You don't know where your life can go. Anything is possible. You can do anything and no one can touch you. I'm still trying to get that different life. I'm still getting there slowly, but at the end of the day, the life that I was living before, there's no way I'll go back to that life. I've got somewhere to call home now. I know that there's an extra phone number in my phone, but I can ring and say, oh, is there anything going on today? Is there training today? Is there any courses that you could put me forward for? And I know that I'm always benefiting myself by making that phone call. I just like to see them help people, man. They help me out. Like, they help me out a lot. I could never forget about the Lodge and Carnage community. I'll always be a big part of it. Do anything that I can to give back. I'm here with you every step of the way. Like, some people were there with me. If you look at my past, the way I've turned things around, my past wasn't the best, but now everything's going so well, I've never ever looked back. 
Yeah, I was born a believer. Blame my parents, they spawned an achiever. Sneers from my classmates, scorn from my teachers. Years have passed, now they all wanna be this. I guess some people might call me a leader, but I never wanted to. I never thought I'd be either. I'm just someone who will make love when I want to, and wage war when I need to. More than your ordinary geezer. Talk filth, get brought to the cleaners. Face down on the floors where I leave ya. Hit them like 4.4 millimeter. Bang, KO. Catch a core and re seizure. Send the doctors a call on the beeper and warn them they need to be brought to the scene to perform a procedure. I was born a believer. I was born a believer. From the day that I came in the world to the day I'm absorbed in the ether. I was born a believer. I was born a believer. Can't touch me, can't talk to me either. 